All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Friday. We are playing with Ancient Gears. Uh, we're playing the same deck as last time I said. I'll probably change it up. We'll play change a handful of decks uh, midway through uh, the month to the poll selection and see if a different approach to the decks would be uh, more suitable. So we're still going to go with uh, this variant. And um, as you can tell by the title, yeah, yeah, I didn't make it. Oh, it's Cleese. I, I was thinking, it's like, oh wow, he doesn't have an extra deck. Maybe we're doing it's like some v new version of a, uh, of a, uh, of monarchs. You know that maybe they're not dead. No, it's literally just Cleese with card demise. Like, all right. So, uh, I didn't make it into the uh, next great YouTuber season four. Uh, you guys uh, probably already saw it, but yeah, yeah it's, it's just a little bit disappointing. I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't say I was a little bit disappointed. I, was, I really thought I was gonna make it. Really thought I was like I was like I was like I'm a sure win. I'm totally gonna you know get in and then nope. So rip on that. Uh, we'll go ahead and banish like a nice chunk of my deck, draw into some more. Ooh, drew into my twin twister. So then I drew into my uh, ancient gear catapult. So I can pull that combo off real nice. But I wouldn't be surprised if you know he. <coughs> excuse me. If he had the. Um, uh, well, the, he he grabs soul transition, but he got strike. And what does this do? Uh, is this the one? I can't remember. I think Carrie is the one that bounces a monster? No. Yeah, he's the one. Discard a tribute. You can tribute one monster on your... You can target one monster on your field and bounce it. Yep, I was right. It's been a cool minute since I played Cleese, but, uh... I'm thinking about maybe just possibly throwing the Twin Twister at his ass now. And maybe I'll get the solid transition. I mean, either or. I mean, it's totally fine. Yeah. If I don't hit it, that's the thing. And really, what do I... Really, what, what do I want to pitch right now? Because everything in my hand is... Decent, you know, I may possibly go for the poly play in the future, so it's not terrible for all I know. I might have even, you know, banished the monster that I would like to summon. No, I still got it. I still got the the level nine ancient gear dragon reactor dragon. So I kind of want to hold off on the twin sister. I would like to bait him into a soul transition so he bounces me because, you know, fuck it. Why do I care if he bounces me? Right, right. Uh, this card is also I can add one ancient gear for my deck. That might not be terrible. No, but I think I think going at him with double beers. No, because he's gonna tribute his monster. Is there anything I want to search? I could search another catapult. Like, that would be pretty powerful. If he gets rid of my shit, I could just gear town catapult again. Like, mm, yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and summon you. I mean, obviously, I know you're gonna go ahead and do your play. Your soul transition tribute. You know, bounce this, draw two. So, uh, obvious plays are obvious. But outside of that, I'm thinking that possibly. Uh, I'll be able to twin twist the other two back row because I, I know one soul transition. I don't know about the other back row, so I think I'll be okay for right now. Of course, if I attack, you can't play any spells or traps, so if you're not playing that soul transition, you're dead. You, you should have played it on summon. So I bet he's like, oh, what the hell? Uh, at the end of the damage step, if this card. I forgot what this does. Is. Oh, I can just target a, a back row and pop it. Oh, that, that's convenient. <laughs> oh, and I hit the troll, soul transition. Wow. Wow. So, I think for now, since he's not really doing anything... Oh, wow. He's going to hit me with the Drowning now. Yep. Yep. Block card. This card's so good. So good. I mean, it's not like I can't literally do my plays next turn, so I'm still good. Right, right, right. I was sitting here thinking, I can't set any cards to the end of the turn because of my, uh, my level 4 guy. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Like, what do you mean just activate? Like, I want to set you. Like, I can't. Like, ah, all right, all right. I see you. I see you. I see you. So, I mean, I'm still okay. I'm still good. I still got this combo right here. Uh, I could just throw the twenty percent. As long as you don't get scout, then I'll possibly be good. I mean, of course, scout, scout is still limited to one, unlike monkey board, where it's just like, bam. Oh my god, fucking broke ass card in my uh, What? Say what? Why? Why? Really? Oh, because you already have one. Yep. Broke ass card of demise. <laughs> Should have been hit. Hit. But no. <laughs> so, awesome, awesome. I was thinking, I was like, why would you get card of demise? Like, and I'm one to talk because I'm going to be playing some fucking card of demise. But the card is broken. Like, Konami, you should have hit it. Like, how the f is that fair? That, oh, okay, I'm not going to put on special summoning, so therefore I get to draw three fucking cards? Like, come on, Konami. Come on, fuckboys. That's fuckboy Konami for you. That is fuck working on me, so I'm about to get the fucking back row set out of me, like, holy shit. <laughs> the sad thing is that I possibly might be able to go for game, like, 
Like, if I can bust out my plays and double attack with two of my ancient gear monsters that you can't play shit on when I attack, you're fucked. So, uh, I might be able to get this, but, I mean, it's fucking Cardamized Cleaves. Like, come on. So I'm gonna hold on to my Twin Twister. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play it. There's really no point. I'm gonna hold off, because he might flip up a lose one turn, and that would fuck me. So, I don't want him to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and summon you. And then you will go off. I'm thinking he'll be like, lose one turn! And I'll be like, meh. And then, of course, I'll summon my uh, Gathertron Dragon. My Dragon says that you can, uh, it's quite a talking about when can't still in trap today. Yep. So I'll summon my two dragons, my two big old ancient gear chocolate fudge covered dragons. Then, if you got something, do it now. You have to do it on now. If not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come after your ass and you can't do shit. <laughs> you can activate spells or traps until the end of the damage step, so that might be game. So thank you for you know putting your helmet on, paying that 800. You got me that perfect kill. <laughs> That's one way to handle demise, please. <laughs> Damn. All right, we'll get another duel. Bear back. All right, another duel. But yeah, I didn't make it in season two. I really thought I was gonna make it. I really thought. Uh, they said that there was like 60 people who entered. I didn't see 60 uploads, and I saw every single upload of the next great YouTuber. Everybody's a mission video, application video. So I'm guessing that some people didn't put theirs public. They just put it as unlisted, yeah. sent it over to the the judges, which is fine, I guess. But uh, yeah, because there's a couple of people who made it into the top 16, uh, I didn't even recognize. I was like, wait, it's like wait, I didn't even see your video. So you know what the what? <laughs> but uh. You know, I was I was just just still slightly disappointed. Uh, you know, I actually got some information about from the judges. You know, uh, about this you know selection process and all of that. Uh, that apparently I was actually on the bubble. I was actually on the bubble with when it came to like the final elimination of people to get it down to sixteen. I didn't make it. So, <sighs> rip. I know. I know. I know. You guys are probably sad and disappointed. I wouldn't lie. If I wouldn't say I was just uh, slightly disappointed. Uh, and I even got an explanation of the reason why I wasn't selected. And apparently, it's because. I'm too qualified. Like, I don't mean I don't mean to be cocky or nothing. Okay, like we're we're going with the fucking sh this thing synchro summon synchro summon summon synchro summon level eater synchro summon 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 summon. Like, I I already know the shenanigans. So he's probably gonna be able to bust out a quasar right now because he can go ahead and synchro summon and go into that draw card. So, yep yep fuck me. I mean, our uh, first card of the mic. So put your helmet on and now just fucking level eater is broken. Touch yourself. <laughs> Because this is stupid that you can level eat off and then summon the Sahaya to Sahaya to summon the Sahaya. Like, it's dumb. Like, it really is, but... And the w one time where I wouldn't mind a max C. <laughs> I mean, I can just set the strike if I survive. It's the thing is, if I survive. Like, if I, if I could bait him, but I'm not even sure if I could bait him and handle the Quasar. Because baiting and handling the Quasar, Quasar is still 4,000 beater. It's really hard for me to get over 4,000, but, I mean... Uh, when in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it might be more simple than I think. Uh, this is boring. This is boring. This is boring. This is boring. I didn't come here. I didn't come here to watch you play with yourself. I'm done. Be right back. Uh, you know, like shit. If I wanted to watch a guy masturbate, I look at gay porn. I ain't looking at no gay porn. So why the fuck am I sitting here watching you masturbate? Like level Eater is a broken card. Like, he's not broken like, oh my god, he's so good. Like, he's broken mechanically. Level Eater should be once per turn, but yet he's not, so... Rip on that. Uh, I drew the card that I didn't want to draw. Uh, I drew my Searcher card, so that's not terrible, but, you know... I use, what do I, what do I really search for? I mean, Catapult's always a fine search. I pretty much got everything else, so... But, no, I was pretty much the reason, the explanation. Uh, you know, I asked Simo, and he was like, yeah, you you were pretty much there. You made it to, like, almost the last 16. Like, if it was 30, like, unlike previous seasons where they picked people and it was 32, they went straight into 16. So, if it was 32 people, I think I would have I got chosen. But because it was 16, I was right on the bubble, and I, I fell out. I, didn't, I couldn't make top 16, you know. Uh, but with that being said, uh, the explanation from our Nisker was I was overqualified. Uh, and when you're probably like, what do you mean? I, for my achievements, what I've done, from, I'm known. Like, despite not being big, I mean, I'm not even at 2,500 subs, I'm known in the community, remotely, right? For Especially for the the, the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! to Draft League, you know, how viral that went. I mean, two out of the three judges up, guest uploaded the video to their channel for season one. So, they know of me, and when I they said their best video, I put, you know, Nerf Curry, Yu-Gi-Oh! the guest upload on Galactic God. Apparently, that was a bad idea, because then it made me overqualified, because then they were like, well, he doesn't need the exposure, you know? <laughs> and that's pretty much the end result. Like, they concluded that I didn't need the exposure, and therefore, 
uh, I didn't get chosen. That the other candidates that were chosen for 16, that they were lesser than me in a sense that they that I can get the exposure, I can get the notoriety, I can get the networking through my own means, that I don't need the next great YouTuber, and that's the reason why I didn't get chosen. So, yeah, I guess I can't go with it, but I mean, I could, I could always use a little bit more. So, with that, if that, that's, that's a reason, then they better fucking give me that guest upload for when I announce, you know, when I go into more announcement on Season 2. Like, holy shit. Um, I guess I could play this and then call it traps and then attack them twice and then... Uh, go into like an insane monster. Go into like, uh... What happened? Should happen. No, he's not in here. Wow. I'm actually not running, uh... uh Gear Giant X. Man, I am fucking up with these extra decks. I like make these extra decks, and then... I, hindsight's like 20 fucking 20, so rip on that. Like... like yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do and do right now. And I can just summon this, like... I can't play this, I have to control no face up, I have to control no monster, so it's pretty much a good job. I got my magical hat, so that's pretty good. Now I think I'm just gonna go ahead and summon uh, Ancient Gear, activate the fact, I'm gonna call traps. Then I'll be able to at least poke you for a little bit of damage, like, that's not terrible. No, I got the maxi, there's just no, you know, I would love for it to go in the gear guy, and I can't believe I forgot to put him in here, because he wouldn't be terrible search. You know, detached search for like another Ancient Gear Wyvern. Summon Ancient Gear Wyvern to search for another Ancient Gear card. Like, I mean, searching and plusing is always good in Yu-Gi-Oh, so. so. I'll just poke, poke. When does this go off? At the end of my my turn? Try to catch a pumpkin at the end until the, and, until the end of each damage that part. So then I can just set Magical Hats, which of course will allow me to summon um, some Gear Towns, and then that will be great. So really just waiting for him to do something. Like, it's kind of... Kind of just set two back row. I thought maybe he's gonna fuck me up with his back row, but I was like, nope, put a hole in them traps, boys. So you gotta kill my gadget. Like, okay. <laughs> so, creep on damage step, you can discard this. At the end of the battle phase, you can discard this card and attack one more. Okay. Discard the cards and attack. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Target any number of Kreebos and guys for something. Okay. So, you summon a Kreeborn. Then you're gonna equip him with that fucking mage power, nigga. Bam! Kareeborn, 1800, nigga. Like, all right. Well, activate only during your opponent's battle phase. It's like two non-monster cards. Now. Well, I guess I should wait for you to declare your attack. So, I mean, it really doesn't matter who you attack. All right. So, if you're gonna attack him, then I'm gonna go ahead and hats it up. Ah, you play Karibo, but I, I, sir, I can go ahead and play Magical Hats. No, not that. Literally just give me three gear towns. Well, two gear towns. Like, so, shuffle, shuffle. Thing is, the field was strange, so you could just redeclare and you could just attack my ancient, my gear gadget. So, I mean, it's literally the same result. I really don't care. They just think keeping the life is not a terrible plan. Because this card only gets its effect when he's normal summon, so yes and yes. <laughs> so, I will be going to gear town and summoning some, ge some monsters. Uh, I'm thinking about just summoning my, my dragons, like, I don't really need to summon you, because you don't really do anything outside of just, you know, like, if anything, if anything, I'll just summon my two dragons. Like, I'm running one of this, just because I was like, why not, but it's really not too useful. Like, it doesn't, like, it doesn't, if I don't use it properly, it doesn't do anything outside of what this does. Well, actually, it pops a back row, so you know what, never mind, actually, I forgot it pops a back row, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, it has similar stats, yeah, similar stats. Uh, but it's not level 8, that's the problem, that I can't trade it in, so rip on that. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, wow. Wow, so you're actually gonna get to fuck both of them up? Oh, one of them. Okay, I was about to say, did you get to fuck both of them up? Like, no, just one, just one. Okay. Wow, and then once again, I keep on drawing the Toon Ancient Gear Golem, who's not Ancient Gear Golem, and I really can't do shit with. Like, he's an Ancient Gear, so that's good, he's a trading target, he's a fusion target, but I'm, I'm not really doing any fusion plays right now, so... Rip on that. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and flip some of this. This card attacks monsters in your opponent's position. Cannot activate their effect time. So, so do you do anything? Opponent's monster card attack. You banish this card from your rear and target any number of crew, but like, no, not really. So, uh, I mean, I really have nothing else. Like, I could, like, tribute this card, which tributes some of our engine gear. Then I get Pierce, it's tribute for a gadget. Then. I uh, get to attack twice, but I don't, and this card attacks pop. So if I have one more other card, maybe I'd do it, but right now, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. 
I'm okay with my two monsters over my one, even though this could pop some back row. Alright, so I'll attack with you, which means that no spells and traps can be activated, so you're just gonna die. You don't have any Cravos, because if you had some Cravos, I might have attacked with the Ancient Gear Weapon. And then maybe I'll get blown away by uh, Drowning Mirror Force again? Like, Drowning Mirror Force is so good. Quaking this time, alright. Quaking this time. I was thinking that maybe it was gonna be Drowning, but nope, it's Quaking this time, so. Uh, like I said, I could just tribute some of these two for this. It's not like they're really doing anything. I'm kind of wondering if he's gonna kill them, though. Like, that's the thing. I'm kind of worried that he'll, he'll find a way to kill them. And I would rather just have this over just two monsters that I can't flip summon. So yeah, I'll just tribute summon for you. So that means that I get piercing. So if you go on the defensive, I can pierce your ass because I did tribute for the ancient gear. So not bad. So, I mean, it's like I said, I, I'm a little bit disappointed. Wow, he just scooped it up. He's like, wow, the ancient gear is too strong. All right, all right, I see. All right, actually, we're actually getting some W's in here. Like, say, what? Like, last week we were just struggling. But this time we're doing okay. Uh, we'll get another duel. All right. So, like I said, I'm just, just slightly disappointed. Slightly disappointed because I really thought that I could, you know, learn, do some new things and, you know, actually make it. Actually make it. But it's okay because, you know what, there's some people that I definitely think uh, can pull it off. Can pull it off. So, if you'd ask me, well, since you're not in it, then who are you cheering for? Well, I'm cheering for uh, Next Level Man Man. I like his content. I like, you know, his discussion videos. I, I literally found him through searching up Banlist Prediction, and I just liked his, 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 his swag, you know? So, I ended up subscribing to him before he even went into the, the competition. So, when he entered the competition, I was like, okay, cool. Um, uh, top two guy, I found him through the, uh, the admission video next to you YouTuber, looked at his content, really like him, like, I think that he has probably has a chance of winning it all. We also have my opponent here, he's not doing, okay, now we're doing, like, I was waiting, I was like, are we gonna duel? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, you made me go first, that's fuck. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm not sure, I don't really like going first with this deck. <laughs> so, I guess I'll go ahead and search, I can go ahead and search for, like, my catapult, even though I don't have my town right now, so. But on that, of course, we'll activate my Pot of Desires, because Pot of Desires is just so good. I can't set any cards, so it's not like I can set a Solemn Strike or anything that I draw. So, up on that, maybe I'll draw into a Town. I don't draw into a Trojan, so that's not too terrible. But I can't set this Reckless. No! <laughs> wow, wow. Draw into a Trojan for a Trojan. That's fine. Trojan again. Alright, now I drew into a Poly, so I can bust out my Fusion play right now if I want to. But, nah, there's no point in doing that. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm done for right now. Like... It's like, it's like, it's also like a search, but they're just like, oh, you can't set any cards, and you would think that it wouldn't be terrible, but it's like, I, I can't set my Psalms, I can't set my Reckless, like, I can't, I should set shit, like, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe if I'm playing this deck, I should activate Cupidity, or set everything first, then do the search, but, yeah, I guess activate Cupidity, get, see what I get, then set, then set my shit, then search, so, live and learn, but, uh, yeah, next level, man, and of course, of course, my number one pick, my number one pick, like, Absolutely, yes, when King of Fairlands, because, I mean, he's working with me, so not only is he going to get exposure through, you know, this, and it has, as long as he does well and makes it uh, really far in the next right YouTuber, but then, uh, as well as being in the You Get Your Draft League Season 2, so yay, yay, go King of Fairlands, you know. Uh, you'll, you'll probably end up passing me up in subscribers if you do really well in this competition, so good luck, good luck. Uh, and, you know, they brought back We Are Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, they were like, We Are Yu-Gi-Oh! first! I was like, I was like, I knew it, I kinda knew it. I thought that maybe We, we Are Yu-Gi-Oh! and me would kinda be those two guys that came back from the last season, but I couldn't make the bubble, so. And it looks like we are playing up against some fucking meta foes, meta fucking black wing Gofu going to Ultimaya plays. Like, you, you already know. You already know. Just the Ultimaya and literally everything. We're about to see some OCG plays right now. I'm probably going to get the shit kicked out of me. But maybe, maybe crossing my fingers, if I can bust out my fusion play, he might be able to fuck some shit up. Maybe. <laughs> He's going to go ahead and fuse it up. Got some normal monsters. Yeah, I would say you're going to use the token. Go into uh, Adam and then Bam, right there, there's Ultimaya right there. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's some OCG plays right there. The return, draw a card. Yeah, so you kind of pitched your, your Metaphose monsters, not, you know, Pendulum Summon or anything like that. I'm guessing that you have another scale one. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep. Ultimaya. Ultimaya is so broken, definitely. Like, when, when you go out of your way to throw in Gofu just to do plays like that, that's when you know it's broken. That's when you know it's broken, and it, it is. Ultima is literally like Patola Miles. You're doing plays that you shouldn't do, so. Like, oh yeah, because I totally deserve to summon a fucking Crystal Wing. Clear, oh yeah, Crystal Man. Like, no you don't, but that's cool money. That's how they feel. That's how they feel, then. 
that's that's how they feel. And so I think Ultimate will probably get probably banned in like the next year or so because this card is stupid. It's literally stupid. Uh, yeah, there's some background. There's a crystal meth. Like I, I personally, I don't think I can really deal with this. <laughs> like I can bust out my fusion monster, so that's cool. But like, what the fuck am I doing? You know? I, I just don't. I just don't see me being able to handle this situation. You know? Crystal meth is just too strong, and then you could summon multiple monsters. Cause I have no way of getting rid of Ultimate if I had maybe had Regeki or something, but I don't. You know? So I could fusion to my my monster, my Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, but. You know, I'll get, get fucked up by Crystal Math. It says they can activate spells or traps to understand damage that not monster effects. If it's, it's monster effects, if you can activate cards, period, then of course I can handle it. But then he's just set another and won't be able to kill Ultimaya too. So, rip on that. It's like, I just... I don't see a way I can get out of this situation. Like, I can summon... Summon Ancient Gear Wyvern. Like, for, first I should probably set some shit first. I'm gonna play that, and there's no point in setting that, so... Summon this, get a search, and he can fuck anything, and he can fuck me up with crystal math. Like I said, you just go through hoops and loops just to summon Ultimaya because it's so fucking good. Because you summon crystal math, like Konami can't even make any any level other uh, level eight dragons that are remotely good, or you get automatic uh, access to Ultimaya. It's just like Ptolemaios. Like yeah, rank fours can go into rank five plays, go into infinity. Like Ptolemaios is exactly the same thing. You know what? If I surrender now, I actually have enough time to get another duel. So I think I'll do that. <laughs> Be right back. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm busy anyway, so that's that's good. I mean, I guess that's fine. I just kind of want to throw my hat in the ring, but I'm totally okay with uh, with not making it because I'm super busy. Anyway. I got school, I got YouTube, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm perpetually busy. So to add on top of that, the next great YouTuber shit, you know, uh, I said, you get to Draft League Season 2, despite me announcing it and getting help of it and all that. It probably won't be starting for a while, possibly until I do my channel changes, you know, possibly until then, so... Alright, well, I well, mean, we can go ahead and dex in, we can do the Toon Tackle Shining, and we just got that Maxi and did nothing with it, but, I mean, Maxi's a great card, you know, and my crazy ass Daniel, I'm already working on my next ban list prediction, you know what I mean, of course, I always work on it, like, I see the ban list, and then I, you know, start tweaking, and it changes over time until, you know, I think it's time, I think that the next list will probably be January 2017. Uh, and with that, I can look at these next couple of months, look at the format, because we got September, October, November, December, yeah, and that's, that's plenty of time. Uh, you know, January, January to February. You know, it really depends on when Konami feels like it. I think, I think January, I think they'll release the list, like, early January, right before DDs come out, you know. And then, you know, DDs will be awesome. <laughs> so, then we'll experience some of that. We got our Toon Table con uh, combo, so I guess that's fine. There's really no point in me summoning Inking Gear Gadget and doing that play. If anything, maybe I should throw in like terraforming, because it seems like, I, especially with Ancient Gear Weapon, I can get the catapult, but I can never get the freaking field spell to combo off of it. I'm not running terraforming right now, I've been throwing terraforming, but it's that we're going to be changing up the deck and uh, doing a different version of the deck for like the next two weeks. And then I'll probably, if this deck stays on for another month, awesome. If not, then I'll, I'll do the deck profile one or two. Maybe even both. Maybe even both. You know, it depends. It depends. Uh, of course, set the warning first, <laughs> which. I mean, I, I, it it hurts me because in my mind, it's always set in mint phase two. You know, not, it's not like anybody plays more than catastrophe, but you don't want to fucking fucking dumbass for running into it when you could set in mint phase two or anything along those lines. But this card is like, no, you set immediately before you summon me in search. It's like, okay, <laughs> okay. So, I mean, like I said, there's just not too much to search for. So yeah, if I play terraforming. With the catapult and combos that off because that, that, that play is pretty strong. It really is. Just blow up your gear town, catapult, summon, gear town, summon. But <laughs> I get the catapult, I don't get the gear town. And that use that old combo before the ruling where I could just you know play gear town and set gear town over it and gear town be destroyed. But now you you don't you don't destroy it, but you just replace it. So I'm probably gonna get fucked up with back row because this ancient gear. No no no, because I think they'd fuck it up if I had a little bit more. You know, you're not gonna waste the mirror force. You're not gonna even out. You want a plus. You know. You want to get your sto your 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 Darude Sandstorm, your Drowning Mirror Force. You want to get more than just one, but uh, I keep on getting I got fucked up twice for this guy attacking over my other ancient gears because it's not the monster effect I'm worried about. It's the fucking uh, spells and traps. So rip on that. So, uh, like I said I probably I'll probably do Yu-Gi-Oh! Chair Draft League season two after the channel changes, which of course is in total number. Still thinking, still processing. Like I said, well, I'll go more in detail about it when we get closer. But what I'm thinking right now, like if I, if I had to do my channel changes right now, what would it be? It would be Monday and Friday would be card review. 
You know, when uh, you get two card reviews, it would just be one. It'd be one. And you're only getting one upload per day, but I'm going to try to do something Yu-Gi-Oh! related every day, which, you know, I'm not sure how you would feel about that. Would it be like, oh, well, you know, he's, uh, he's going against the grain, so... Uh, the thing is that you know, he's playing six samurai. I could, I could, I'm think it depends on what he goes into. If he goes into like, no, never mind. Cause I'm gonna get the draw off the summon, but when he synchro summons, I'm not gonna get the draw off of that. You know, oh, never mind. He scooped it up. I dropped the maxi. Maybe he wanted to go off. Maybe he wanted to activate his fucking, uh, uh, his fucking uh, gateway. And I was like, no. So <laughs> I have that maxi. Let's go, boys. And he just like scoop. Okay. Uh, we're done here. We're done. So we got we got a couple of W's with the ancient gear deck. Not not, not as bad as last week. Last week was just unlucky. This time it was actually working out. So I guess I'll take the deck throwing some terraformings because I should have anyway. But I was thinking it's like I don't want to. I was thinking I don't want to get the 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 gear towns to terraforming because it's not like I can settle it on top of it. But I realize now that there's a high chance, especially since I get ancient gear Wyman, I can search for this catapult. And at least I'm getting ancient gear Wyman. I didn't get him like at all last video, last uh, daily duels with ancient gear. So that's cool. Uh, and then I kind of was like, oh, I want to keep it in the deck for Magical Hatch, that's a little cute. That really is, it's cute. Um, so, I'll tweak the deck. Anyway, and we'll be playing different written deck next week. So, absolutely, if I had to do the, ch the challenge changes right now, absolutely. Like I said, car review, like I said, you get one, up um, one upload per day, except for during the weekends, but we do something user related every day. So, you're probably like, well, well, what do you mean? Let me go in detail. So, like I said, Mondays, car review. Friday, back car Friday. That's staying the same, you know? And maybe I put a little bit more effort into it. I was thinking, like, maybe I can get, like, a green screen and then you would actually see me standing there talking about the card. Or, uh, you know, I you might have seen it in my upload for a uh, next right YouTuber. You saw that Chibi Bell. I was thinking about maybe having someone who's, like, an animator or something draw, like, different facial features. And I could have, like, the little Chibi Bell talking in the corner. You know, kind of like what Nim Nim does. Something like that. You know, a little bit above and beyond than just simply what I do now. Just, like, here's the card. You see it all on the screen. I'm talking about it, you know. Uh, uh, now, before I go into what Tuesday and Thursday, I have to talk about it's Guns and Tandem. Uh, I was thinking about doing Daily Duels with N, but I would replace it with the series, which I'm still debating on name. But I'm thinking about Daniel Duels, you know, where it would be a live stream. So, similar to what I'm in stream, except I'm not playing you, Bell, I'm playing with whatever I want. And whatever you guys suggest, we're just playing Yu Gi Oh, right? That would be done. I was thinking about uploading, switching, and doing, you know, like Vitamin Y on Tuesday and the Daniel Duels on like Thursday. We live stream at like 10, which gives me enough time to render and, you know, upload the live stream by 2, which is, I think all my videos will still go up at 2. I think 2 is a perfect, it's just the perfect time for videos to go up, you know. Uh, maybe it's a little bit late for my British viewers, so I might have to hear that. We could probably maybe move the upload to 12, so it would be, the uploads would be up at 8 instead of up at like 10. So, I don't know, maybe t 12 or 10. 12 or, I mean, 12 or 2, one of those two. Um, and do the videos like that. And then, but and that was my first idea. But then I was like, no, because even when I upload live stream, live stream, it's there if you want to watch it. But most people don't watch the entire live stream. So what I was thinking about doing was take, doing the live stream, right? Taking a stream highlight, you know, a highlight from the stream, uploading that as the video, you know, and then putting, um, uploading the whole entire live stream as an enlisted link in the description. Click it and go to the live stream if you want to watch the whole thing, but it won't be in your sub box. So it won't, you don't have to watch it, it won't bug you, right? But then I was thinking, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays are really busy for me. Like, if you guys don't know, I actually go to the center and donate on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm down there today, being Thursday, because I'm recording a day ahead. I was down there till like, 9. So, I, I wake up at 4. I got there at, like, maybe, like, 5.20. I was down there until, like, 9. So, to come back, you know, and after getting my shit drained out of my body... Still didn't get too much sleep because I woke up super early. To come back and then do a live stream, I was like, oh my god, you know, that'd be terrible. And I have to do that every Tuesday and Thursday. So what I was thinking, and I said, and this is the whole thing where you're getting something Yu-Gi-Oh! related for me every single day. Similar, we're, we're doing live and live stream on Saturday. That's okay, you know, I'm not doing too much on Saturday. I can go ahead and live stream. We can go ahead and live stream from, uh, from 10 to 12. We're good, you know. What I was thinking is, Vibe and Wild Life Stream would still be on Saturdays, and the whole, the new series, the Daniel Duels, that would be on Sunday. So you'd be getting two live streams during the weekend, which is generally where people are free, you know, especially with school starting again. People are free during the weekend, so you can come watch the live stream if you want. Take those videos, and then 
upload the highlights on Tuesday and Thursday. So the streams will be on Saturday and Sunday, but the highlights will be on Tuesday and Thursday. For those of you guys who missed it or you guys wanted to. Uh, and how I do the stream of the highlights varies. You know, I could keep it raw if it's, you know, funny or something like that. Or I can post comment over it, kind of like what Mega Capital G does when, you know, he does like kind of post comment duels like that. Uh, so something, an idea like that. So now you're getting something from me Monday, Tuesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And while the things that are Saturday and Sunday, we're live stream, you get that content on Tuesday and Thursday, you know, for, till the next week, you know? Because Saturday and Sunday, I'm much more free than Tuesdays and Thursdays, you know, unless stated otherwise. Uh, with that being said, Wednesdays. Wednesdays is still thing that I'm still debating on, you know. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Death Proto commentary. Like, I do it twice per week, and it's a series on the channel. I don't know, some of you guys like it, some of you guys might not, I don't know. Seems like kind of Stu's thing, and I kind of stepped into Stu's territory, you know, make capital G, but mostly Stu, you know, mostly Stu's territory. Uh, I want to just kind of step back away from that, I'm not the biggest fan of the series. What I was thinking about probably doing for Wednesdays is Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play series, you know. I, my channel, if you guys haven't been on here that long, I mean, I've been YouTubing for like four years now, it used to be a Let's Play channel, you know, I used to do Pokemon and various different games and stuff like that, and when I asked my viewers, should I cut it out? They said, the majority of them said, yeah, I'll cut it out. This, we're just here for Yu-Gi-Oh! We're not here for the Let's Plays. And they didn't get nearly as many views as uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos. Uh, which is fine, which is fine. But uh, I could do Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Plays, you know? I could do, like, Legacy of the Duelist, or I can do, you know, various uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship games. I kind of wanted to finish Tag Force 5, you know? I was doing a Let's Play with my friend Dan, and we never finished that. So that could be for that, you know, where I play with the cards that are given to me, where it's not like I'm on here and I get to make any deck that I want and everybody gets to play the meta and me, you know, go ham. It's literally like, you know, I work with the cards that I got and I play the games. So I was thinking that that could possibly be Wednesday. And then you would be getting, you'd be, there would be something you get related from me Wednesday, I mean, Monday through Sunday, like every single day of the week we would be doing something Yu-Gi-Oh related, but the upload would be less because think about it, card reviews and uh, fake Car Friday, especially what they are right now, they're not that difficult. You know, I sit here, I record for like four or five minutes, talk, and then render upload, done. Easy. So, that's easy. The videos that were going from Tuesday and Thursday, those are literally just cut from the live streams on Saturday and Sunday. So, instead of calling, reco uh, recording daily duels every single weekday, every single weekday, right? They would literally just be on the live stream, take a snippet or a highlight that I think was good from the live stream. And either keep it as is or upload it as post com and then bam, there you go. There's Tuesdays and Thursdays. So that's easy. The let's play, I probably while recording it would probably just record it in bulk. Like I'd probably sit there for like maybe like two or three hours, record the game, you know, and then have the videos for it, which will go and since it's only uploaded once per week, give you like maybe like a fifteen to half an hour uh video of the let's play per week. I would I sit there for, you know, an hour, two, two to three hours. I would have, like, you know, a month's worth of that recording done. So it would it'd be a lot less stress. And while you'd still be getting that upload from Yule Mastery, it just wouldn't be, like, spam. Because, I mean, I upload, like, what, like, 11 videos per week? You know? The 10, I mean, five daily duels, the five of the other series, and then, like, Vitamin Y live stream. So, like, 11 videos per week, you know? And, you know, that can be a little bit daunting for some people who want to scribe. It's just always filling up your sub box. So, I was thinking about cutting it out, and that's my idea. I mean, sorry to, you know, literally talk for maybe like, I don't know, like 10 minutes after this episode of Daily Duels is over. But I kind of wanted to bring it up because I was on my mind, so I kind of want to hear your opinion about it. But yeah, this is just the video, another Daily Duels, so I didn't make it in Season 4. Rip. Oh well. Uh, maybe if they do it in Season 5, in like 2018, maybe I can join? I don't know. And I'll probably still get rid of it. Like I said, I'm just mad that it's like, oh, we're only taking 16. Like, I think that would have been better if they still did the 32, and then the people make it to the 16 on their own merit. It's like, it's like, man, I didn't even get my fucking foot in the door. Like, at least last time, last season, I at least made it to the 32, got my foot in the door, and I just didn't make it to the 16. I didn't even get my foot in the door this time, so rip on that. But, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, I'm busy. I'm cool. I'm just slightly disappointed. So, yay, you know, go, uh, next level meta man, go, um, uh, top tier Yu-Gi-Oh! And, of course, go, uh, King of Feral Imps. Those are the three that I'm cheering for. So, you can just go ahead and support those three. I'd really be appreciative, because, uh, replace them and, uh, I mean, <laughs> replace them, uh, support them in placement of me. Alright, so we're done here. We're done with this episode of Daily Duels, so... Uh, I will see you guys next week with some more Daily Duels action. So I hope you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. See you guys next time.